let's see if I can make it through level two here while I'm recording. This is my little PIX64 game. Level two. Still not too fast, so shouldn't be too bad here. Of course, I'm going to get the hard one right away. Ah! Died right away. Let's try this again. Let's pick my game. There we go. Level one. Level one's nice and slow. It seems too slow unless you're actually playing it. Or I should say, unless you're playing it with a camera in your hand. So far, so good. Oop, there we go. It's easy to move too far. You can tweak the code to make it not uh, accelerate so much, but I found this setting to be the best balance. Something like this that needs precise movements is not really a great analog joystick game, but hey, why not? Now this is one of those trick sections. I guess I could have gone up either side. Would have been easier going up the other side. Let's go up. Over. Wait, for level one, it's kind of tight in here. Oh, this is the key one. And looks like maybe I'm finishing up. Yay! There, made it out. Click the joystick to go to the next level. Let's see, it gets a little bit faster and the level gets longer. I randomly assemble the, uh, the level from a number of screens that I've created uh, actually using a um, an 8-bit font or an 8x8 font uh, editor. So kind of fun. One of the breathing room screens here. And you get the point. Now I'll just let it crash on this one. Game over. Well, thanks to uh, Fabian and, and Bertrand for creating such a great little uh, Netduino-based uh, game console. So it's really fun to create this first game. <laughs>